Hey, welcome to DIY's new Stud Finder show, Divas Do It All. I am your new host, Nina, aka Jane of All Trades. Buying my house about a year and a half ago is actually what helped me claim that title. And now, I try to share my knowledge, my newfound knowledge, with my fellow divas with their DIY projects in an eco-friendly manner, helping to keep their home safe and good old Mother Earth clean. On today's episode, we're going to do three awesome projects. We're going to help my friends um, custom plaster a wall, we're going to change a bike tire, and we're going to install a sliding recycle bin. So come with me to my girlfriend Sarah's home where we're going to help her transform a wall with plaster. Come on, don't be scared. Hey Sarah, there you are. Hey Nina. Hey everybody, this is my friend Sarah. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to teach her how to do a facelift on this plain old wall here and give it a little custom design. Just remember, always get your gloves for easier cleanup. You want to make sure you cover your environment. Try using the new drop cloths. They're eco-friendly and made with recycled plastics. And since we're both safety girls, we recommend glasses to protect your eyes. Let there be light! Now Sarah, traditional plasters, they're toxic for the earth and the paint can emit toxins in your home. And since I care about you, we're going to use this amazing new product um, alternative called American Clay. It's the most natural, eco-friendly product alternative there is to plaster. There's no VOCs and um, it's resistant to mold. But the two things I love about it the best is the simplicity and the versatility. So if a couple years down the road you don't like what we've done, all you've got to do is re-wet it, rework it, I'll come help you, and we'll give you a whole new design on the wall. Also, that's because it's natural clay. There's also natural pigment in here, which means it completely omits the painting process. Makes it a lot simpler. Sounds great. Great, let's get working. Okay, so scoop a layer onto your trowel, put it on the wall, smooth it out into a very thin layer. It can only be as thick as a, a one to two credit card, so make it smooth. It needs to not be too wet and not too thick, also it won't adhere. Now the second layer is when the fun really starts. Start adding your own style and texture. Just make sure to go in S's and arches. Don't make it too patternized. I had been wanting to do a home improvement project for a while, but I was too intimidated to do so. Nina helped me figure out a way to make it fun and easy. Thanks, Nina. Now, if you want a more unique or fancier design on your wall, it's no problem. The process is just as simple. You're going to want to start on a smaller surface with some cardboard to practice it. You're going to, the first effect I'm going to show you, though, is going to be a rainbow or combed effect. So you're going to need a joint knife or a trial knife, whatever you want to call it. They come in different sizes. You're going to want to start with the bigger one to be able to spread in the bigger spaces on your wall. Smaller ones to get the smaller corner spaces when you need it. You're also going to need a match trowel. Notch size depends on what effect you want. So again, practice. If you want a deeper, bigger ridge, get a bigger, wider tooth or notch or a smaller one. Okay? So I'm just going to show you a quick little sample here. We're going to have we scoop out the plaster, which I put in this... Uh, bin, <laughs> painting bin, whatever, you just spread it on. You want it kind of thick, right? You're just going to spread it all around. And when it's on the wall, no big deal. It's okay if there's spaces missing, but you're just going to get it all over there. So then you take the trowel and you, whoops, <laughs> the wall won't do that. Make a rainbow effect, overlap it, you know, just kind of work with it. Or if you want <laughs> wrong side, this side, you just, you know, you're not going to have two in one. It really is simple, kids. <laughs> Try it at home. <laughs> It'll be easy. <laughs> and here's the finished effect. This is what it will look like. Fabulous! Another technique is called sunburst or swirl. It has a couple of different names. You're going to need a roller. Oh, maybe like a half inch to three eighths inch of a nap. Just so, depending on the thickness, you really want it thick on there. They have recycled ones now. 100% recycled fiber. It's really awesome. So, at first you're probably going to have to spread it on with a putty knife to get it on there. The, the joint stuff. The plaster. And then you're going to roll it on the wall. You're going to want it really thick on there, so get it on there. Don't be scared to use a lot. Um, safety goggles might be good because it's going to get everywhere. <laughs> you should have put mine on. And then you're going to take a sponge. The other kinds of sponge that you would use for uh, painting walls are good as well, but this is just a regular house sponge. A little bit wet, not too wet because then it'll take off too much of the plaster. And you're just going to spin it, and it makes a swirl. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. You can make all different sizes. After a while, it'll kind of compound on there, so you want to rinse it a little bit. Again, not too wet. Just take it different ways. There, it's like a heart. However style you want, it'll look great. Good luck. Go. And here's how the finished product should look. Awesome. 
some. Divas do it all rescue, this is Nina. Nina, I'm so glad you answered. I've got a flat. I need you to help me. Absolutely. I'm on my way. Okay, so before you start, you want to make sure that the brake has been released, that the dropout has been undone, and that the rear derailleur is on the lowest gear so that when you drop the tire back in, you'll know exactly where the chain goes. Perfect. Okay, to take the tire out, if you deflate the tire tube enough, you can pull it out with your fingers, one side only, and then you're just going to work your way around. Don't use a screwdriver because you can puncture the tube. Then you just want to pull the tube out. Once the tube is out, you want to run your fingers on the inside of the tire to make sure there's nothing in there that's puncturing your tube. Okay, you're going to put the pump into the hole, and then you're going to gradually work the tube into the tire. Then you slide the rest of the tire back inside the rim, but just be very careful not to have your tube in line so it doesn't get pinched in between the rim and the tire. So once you've filled the tire with the amount of pressure it says on the tire, you're going to lift the chain up, you're going to slide it right back in there to get it into the dropouts, get it in between the brakes down there, and just drop it in. Nina, thank you so much. Not only did you rescue me, you taught me a valuable lesson on how to change my own tire all by myself. Now I can be my own mountain biking diva. Thank you. Here's a quick green tip. Check your local listings for places that take hard to recycle items. Go recycle your bike too. Check this out. Every day in the U.S., each person, you, me, everybody, generates four and a half pounds of trash. That adds up to more than 1,600 pounds of trash a year. Ridiculous. If everybody would recycle, it would reduce that impact by about 60%. So imagine what a family of four would do. That is exactly why I've been trying to convince my girlfriend Colleen and her family to start recycling in their home. So, while they're on vacation, I have snuck into their kitchen and I am going to install a sliding recycle bin to make it easy for them. It's simple. Come with me, I'll show you how. Now, if you have an old home, like a lot of people do, it's never easy. The projects are always harder. There's something that's going to be different. We had to get creative underneath here. This garbage disposal is in the way, so a traditional sliding recycle bin wasn't going to work. We had to just get a sliding door, drawer like this that the trash can can fit in and slam it like that. Works perfect, though. So, for the ease of the show, we've already marked it. You just want to make sure you get it lined in there and that the trash can can fit. You want to make sure your cabinet door can close. I recommend two inches from the door, but if you don't have enough space, that's all right. Just make sure the cabinet door can close. I highly recommend pre-drilling so that you, pre-drilling your holes so that you don't strip out your screws. Recommendation, when you're trying to figure out your drill bit, you just want to make sure it's a little bit smaller than the screw is, right? That the threads will fit in there. So, you want to just go real quick, in and out, in and out. One, that was uno, and go. Hole three, where is it? There you go. And of course, as, as I said, it doesn't fit. The, the drill's too big. But do not worry. We'll just hand screw that one in. We'll just have to put some muscle in it. It'll be all right. Okay. So now it's time to install it. You want to put the base, the base, um, base in here with the wheels facing you. Line it up there. Grab your, grab your screws. And you want to make sure so that you don't torque it out. Put it on the lowest, on the lowest number here. So the clutch will definitely um, stop it from going. So just drill them in. I don't recommend going all the way down if you can avoid it. Get them halfway in there so that you can line them all up before it gets a little um, too tight on all the other ones to make sure you're lined in. And here you got to get a little fancy. This is where it's nice being a woman because you can fit in the smaller spaces. Okay, here we go. Now, screwdriver that fits in the screw. Remember I said, going to get your muscle work in here. Screw it on in. You can do it, ladies. Diva's with me. Here we go. Muscle, muscle. Get it down in there. Look at that. How simple. Voila. Now, slide this sucker in. Here we go. Fit it in. Works nice. And check it out. Cabinet closes. Woohoo! Come back and visit me when they come back home and we'll show them how to start recycling. So thanks for coming along with me today. Join me, your host, Nina File, next week on Divas Do It All when I help my friend Holly build a horseshoe pit in her backyard to bring more fun to her summer parties. And just remember, on Divas Do It All, anything a man can do, a diva can do better. For more information, check out DIYNetwork.com.